Now to two stories making headlines across our country. Two deadly police shootings, including a man who was pulled over for a broken tail light near St. Paul, Minnesota, and a man killed outside a convenience store in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Video of both incidents now going viral and protesters are out in force. The incidents resonating beyond Minnesota and Louisiana. We have reporters in both locations. Right now, Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard joining us live in Baton Rouge with the outrage from people there. Ryan. Andy, certainly a lot of outrage, a lot of questions as well, especially here in Baton Rouge. You can see there is this growing memorial behind me to Alton Sterling. People here demanding justice, and that is true in another part of our country as well. A quiet and somber Baton Rouge outside of the convenience store where 37-year-old Alton Sterling was shot and killed on Tuesday. Now tragically connected to this gathering outside the Minnesota's governor's mansion following the police shooting of 34-year-old Philando Castile. Both shootings caught on cell phone video. The video shows the moments after a police officer shot and killed Castile as his girlfriend recorded. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand out. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. The girlfriend told demonstrators that he told the officer he was carrying a licensed firearm. We didn't do anything. We know. We put our hands in the air. We knew our rights and we followed procedure. The community and family now grieving and demanding answers. I'm devastated right now because they took away a really gentle soul. Everyone liked him. Back here in Baton Rouge, it's still not clear what led to the confrontation between Alton Sterling and police. This video shot by the convenience store owner is now in the hands of the FBI. Police say that when the officers arrived, they confronted Sterling and wrestled him to the ground. Seconds later, police opened fire, killing Sterling. The video then shows an officer pull something from Sterling's pocket, but police have not said what that object is. The Baton Rouge investigation now in the hands of the Department of Justice, while the Minnesota governor calls for the Department of Justice to get involved immediately. Justice will be served in Minnesota. Justice will be served in Minnesota. As the NAACP calls for changes in the laws governing police departments. Enough is enough. We are ready for a change to the laws and the policies in this state and in this country. Back live now in Baton Rouge, you can see people gathering here. That's really been the case all day. Over here, you can see and this is the spot where Alton Sterling died. And that memorial continues to grow. And this picture, the artist has been coming back, working on that mural throughout the day. So a lot happening here and in Minnesota as well. We're live in Baton Rouge for now. Let's go back to you. And, and Ryan, in the wake of this latest officer-involved shooting in Minnesota, how has that changed the mood there in Baton Rouge and the level of outrage in the community? Uh, Andy, I say it has turned it up a level. People here tell me they are not necessarily surprised by this. They say it happened this time, it happened again, and they wonder who will be next. Uh, they just want to see it end. The calls for justice growing louder. Ryan Korsgaard live, for Bat live in Baton Rouge for us. Ryan, thanks so much. And our